guys, well tonight we stumbled into Talkeetna. And little did we know, but there's a whole community event going on tonight. We got a farmer's market over here. We got a live music at the stage over here in the Temple Park area. It says live uh, at five. Live at five, hey, that's perfect. Uh, and it's just busy, there's a lot of stuff going on. So uh, we're gonna take our time and wander through Talkeetna a little bit. Open up some cornmeal and flour. So we've made it to uh, Denali Brewing Co. in Talkeetna, Alaska. <laughs> um, had a great dinner. You had the curry chicken. Yep. I had the cod fish and chips. Both very good. Um, right now I'm enjoying the Hibernale. It's a, well you can see what it is there. Very good beer. Uh, it's a bit, it's a, like a strong sour. Um, God, it's really good. Previously to this I had the, uh, what was it called? Whoop, this way. Abaddon, Abaddon. Another, another Belgian strong, but it's more of a golden and this is more of a dark. Um, both of them, very good beers. So, I give them two thumbs up and I, for that. <laughs> uh, only my husband. <laughs> really good beer. Haze. That's where we tomorrow. need to go tomorrow. Hey guys, today it's Saturday and we are in Trapper Creek, Alaska. And we heard that there was the Fireweed Festival going on today. So we thought we'd go and check it out. Little community event, very similar to the event that we put on in our hometown. Uh, so we're, we're excited to go walk around, check out the vendors and listen to some great music. How was the fireweed festival? It was kind of cool for a, for a community that has what 300 people in it. If that, if that, you know, they got what, 30 vendors, couple food people, several different musicians and such. So it's not too bad. It's a good way to kill a couple hours this afternoon. Let's support local. We got oh, we got some fireweed jelly or fireweed jam they call it, and some spruce tip jam. So jellies. They're both oh, yeah, I guess jellies. they're both jellies. So firewood jelly and spruce tip jelly. So we're gonna try that stuff out and see how it is. Should be interesting. I think it'll be good. Hey guys, we've made it to Mihe's, uh, is that what it is? Mahe. Mahe's Jet Boat Tours. Uh, we're gonna go for a little boat ride tonight. Uh, heading up the Susnita River, I guess, for about 15 miles or so. It's like a two hour, two hour jet boat ride. Uh, up through the braided river and some rapids and stuff like that and we'll get a little his history lesson on the way up and, and a native village and to get a stop at a native village too so be kind of cool young people young and in the back 
All right, here we go. We got about what, 18 people on this 15 passenger bus? This is perfect. I <laughs> like it. Not quite. This is great. <laughs> Up here at the helm that says fire, that's to put it out, not to start. Moved over to our second river, we just left the Talkeeta. You can see the seam on the right hand side of the boat there. And we're going to go up the Susan River and stop for a second. Alice is going to educate you. Kitna River, made a sharp turn, now we are on the Sioux Sidna River, and if you look to the left side of the boat here, you can see there's a third main river coming in, that is the Chulitna River, those are the three main rivers in this area here. The natives in the interior of Alaska are the Athabascans and in our area here, I told you earlier specifically, the tribe are the Denaina in the Upper Susitna Valley, that's where we are. And the Denaina were nomadic, they traveled with food source, so during the summer months they followed the salmon migrations. 